Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. And I just noticed this is the hundredth episode of this LP. Um, I... Yeah, this is, I think, the longest LP I've done. And, holy crap, <laughs> I didn't really think it was going to take this long, but maybe, yeah, there was a lot of episodes where I really wasn't doing much, but, you know, still, this game, pretty damn long, I think. In any case, uh, last time left off, we finished up investigating, and now we have to begin the school trial to determine who possibly killed Komaida. This trial has a lot of mysteries to it, and I... I really can't think of anything of a result. I just, I don't want to believe that one of us killed him, and I don't think that's actually the case, but... Never know. With this game, you never, you never know. And I took a look ahead, and this... Uh, trial once again, I'm gonna have to watch videos along with the gameplay So if I'm gonna be a little odd here, then that's the reasons because I'm gonna I'm watching a video along with playing the game So that's just how they translate it. Th there's a transcript I can read, but it's kind of difficult to follow so This is my opinion. So I feel like watching the videos gonna be a little bit more helpful. So let's go ahead and just get this uh, started I probably should have looked at my skills, but oh well I'll start with an explanation of the school trial. Which he says every single time, but you know, hey. In this trial, you will consult among each other to determine who is the culprit. The answer will be decided by your votes. If you pick the right answer, then the culprit will be punished, but in the, in the case that you pick wrong... This is an issue, I'm going to have to pause until the thing goes up. Uh... The rest of you will be punished, and the, the, only the couple will be allowed to leave the island. What? I don't know how the hell I know I was following it correctly, but whatever. So yeah, he says it every single time. Oh, Monami! My adorable little sister! Why so quiet? Oh, you're really growing up! Is it that time of the month already? But wait! You're a rabbit! Ooh. Chesto! Hey, she looks beat up there. One more! Alright, how do you like that? And now the finale! She just doesn't care. Well, this is useless. Stop, please! Monami is too pitiful right now. Well, I guess it's not time to play Monami right, right now. After all, the trial's already begun! All right, the victim this time is Komaida, who tried to reveal the traitor. Whoever could have killed him? It's very curious. If he died while trying to expose the traitor... Then that must mean the traitor was a murderer! The bastard murder, murder Komaida to keep his mouth shut! No, that's not necessarily true. What? Are you taking the traitor side or something? The fuck who ignored us when we were in danger? Wait, are you the traitor? Uh, are you joking? That's ridiculous! Oop, 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 oop. We better hurry and get out of the discussion while we're, we've got this mood going! The traitor and a person who murdered Komaida. They're here somewhere, right? Are they the same person? Or... Hmm, I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't want to say there is a traitor. I don't, I don't know. We'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. Oh man, there's a lot. Uh, okay. The murder wasn't trying to silence Komaida. They wanted to torture him. The reason that Komaida's body was just covered in wounds was because the murder tortured Komaida for information. So, so that was why they sliced him up like that. I wonder what information they tortured him for. It was undoubtedly the location of the bombs. The, the most suspicious person is the guy who discovered the bombs first. K Kuzuri, that, that was you. I, uh, I just happened to find him by chance. Uh, why the hell would I do something like that to torture somebody? Hmm. Well, Komaida's injuries really resolved from being tortured, but if he was tortured for information, 
Then it would be pointless if we couldn't, uh, couldn't talk. Okay, I'm gonna see. I think this is the right one. So, where are they gonna put... I don't even know what the hell a bullet evidence of a bullet point of man, but, um... Hmm. Oh, wait. Something about what... Uh... Nope. Damn it. It was, it was something that Soda mentioned way earlier. I gotta pause the video. Whoop. Um... Oh, actually, I think this is the tape. And he says, like, you know, they wanted to let him talk or something. Okay. Get rid of this. There you go. Oh, boy. I just really, I really hope this uh, trial isn't going to be a pain in my ass, but whatever. Komaida's uh, mouth is covered with tape, so he couldn't have said anything. If they really were trying to torture Komaida for information, then they wouldn't have put that uh, tape in his mouth. I'll figure it out for you! Oh, great. No, I figured it out. It's a trap. Of course it is. Everything's a trap. A trap? You've been caught in a murderer's trap. No talent, Hinata. Oh, you're gonna go there, huh? No talent? Oh, great. Oh, here I go. Here I go. Uh... Ugh. Okay, I think I... Uh, do I know which one it is? I don't know. Alright, if Komaida's mouth head was taped shut, um, it would seem he was able to talk, but that's the trap! Uh, so you couldn't say... I don't know what he said right there. Yay, development. But they taped his mouth. Uh, and he really couldn't have said anything. Listen up, that's what really happened. Um, first the murderer, uh, learned the location of the bomb. Then after they killed him... Uh, well, that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop this. Stop it. Okay, I'm just gonna see what, what type of, um... Hold on a minute, guys. I gotta read... I gotta look at what what their, um... What the hell the evidence blade was for it. Okay. I think that's it. See, this is the only issue I have with, um... With the video, it's like you know. Sometimes I, it's like oh, I gotta read it. Sometimes I don't, I don't, I don't want to read ahead. Sometimes I feel like I have to. Okay, this was it. So you said after they killed him, but it's like, no. Remember, remember how the tape was shaped. Remember what Nanami said? There's like that little suction into it, which means that he was like breathing in, which means that um, that means he was still alive when he like apparently when he was getting tortured. No, the tape was stuck on there, uh, before Komaida was tortured. Uh, what?! Ah, stop talking about this tape thing, or do rock, paper, scissors decide who's right? There's no need to play rock, paper, scissors. It's true that the tape was put on before Komaida was injured. Why are you always on Hinata's side? Do you like him or something? Well... What is this, elementary school? When I took the tape off Komaida's uh, mouth, you were there too, weren't you, Soda? Think about it. There wasn't any blood underneath the tape, was there? Well, there was that too. But also, I think the suction was part of it as well. The splatters of blood on his face came from the wounds on his arm. Then that tape must have been over his mouth before his arm was injured. Also, the tape was heavily creased in the middle. So that probably happened because Komaida was moving his mouth desperately, desperately underneath. So you mean they taped his mouth shut so that he couldn't scream? Then that's what I said. What I said at the beginning was right. They weren't trying to get information out of him. They were just trying to shut him up. But if their goal is to silence him, then that would there would have been no need to inflict such horrific injuries. They must have really hated the guy. Then you're saying that they hurt him like that simply to cause him pain? Those injuries are pretty intense. Is a murder some kind of psycho or something? They're not just crazy, they're cunning too. If not, then they would never had uh, thought to destroy all the evidence of that fire. 
Huh? That fire was to destroy evidence? Why? Why else? The question is who set the fire? When the fire first began, everyone here was gathered together in front of the warehouse. That's right. And as soon as we opened that door, everything started burning. But then, that would mean that the fire could not have been started by anyone here. But it couldn't be anyone else, right? Not that it's anything new to say that. And the timing is way too convenient too, for it to be uh, random. If this follows the established pattern, then this crime too must utilize some sort of gimmick, wouldn't you say? Some kind of gimmick? What is it? Well, I don't know, but it's been that way in all the instances up to now. It's just like Sonya would be so astute. Her learning uh, abilities were ace, too. Alright, let's use Sonya's idea as a starting point and go forward from there. That works, right, Sonya? Yes, very well. The origin of that fire. Yeah, we need to figure out. Uh, we need to figure that out first. All right, let's get this going then. Uh, oh boy, that's a lot. All right, let's get. Come on. The direct cause of that fire was the Zippo lighter we found, was it not? The murder used some type of uh, method uh, to try to set the curtain. Uh, Try to, to try to fight, set fire to the curtain. What method? They could have used gasoline instead of the powder, uh, the powder train. Or they could just throw in a lighter. Is it possible to keep a zipper lighter? I say powder train, whatever. Still up, uh, upright and yet burning. So if you know, so, uh, if you know someone who knocked the lighter over, you could set fire to the curtain. I am not reading this right. How would you knock it over? You could use some kind of invisible thread. You could use sound vibrations and knock it over too. Or maybe the uh, the door opening has some kind of mechanism. There you go. And I'm not sure what the hell my evidence bullet was, but yeah, opening the door caused something to fall over. I agree that the door opening was what set the fire off. It must have set up some, uh, some sort of wind, like a Japanese monsoon or something, I don't know. No, it wasn't a wind. They used the Monokuma panels. They were monokum panels scattered everywhere in the warehouse, remember? They looked like they had just been thrown all over the place, but there was one neat line where they had all fallen over in order. All the way from the door to the origin of the fire. Why is that important? The murderer used the monokuma panels as dominoes. Dominoes? You mean that game where you take the little pieces and have them knock each other down in a line? Instead of those pieces, the murderer used Monokuma panels. When we opened the door, the first panel right in front of it, right in front of it fell down. And the neatly lined up panels all fell down uh, like dominoes and eventually knocked down a lighter at the end of the chain, setting the certain, uh, curtain aflame. Which is kind of what I figured in the first place. That was not too hard to figure out. If all those big panels fell over, wouldn't it have been really obvious? That's why they turn all turn all the lights off so that we wouldn't be able to notice it. So then, there, so the reason that the warehouse is all dark was to try and hide a domino trick from us. And the murderer used another method to try and hide it, didn't they? The other thing that they did to hide the domino trick, they might have um, they might have used this. And I'm just following along the guide. What, what other thing could they have used? Besides the other Monokuma panels? I don't know. Oh, wait. That'd be three player. So, what, to cover the noise or something? You mean the MP3 player, right? That music was designed to keep us from hearing the noise the panels made as they fell. Oh. Okay. Still, I would think they would have heard something. Maybe because they've been so bright outside we couldn't see anything. And that strange music. Hey, can't you? Oh yeah, can't you hear something? Yeah, it's a freaking annoying. And yeah, so yeah, I guess that's what the music was there to drown out the noise of the panels. Long, I don't know. I was still thinking they could have heard it. They could have heard it. Yeah. 
Well, that's right. Then the noise that was bugging me must have been the panels falling. But that wasn't the only thing that bothered you back then, was it, Owari? Oh. Uh, oh, if you think about it, you were confused about one opening door too, remember? Um. Can I, I can open gently. No, wait, that's not the problem. So it was alright. Uh, showing her warrant slowly open it. Boom, she just kicked in, kicked down the door. Huh, why won't it open? Oh, she tried opening the door. Why won't it open? Something's blocking it. Okay. So that makes sense. So those things were like lined up in front of the, um, in front of the uh, door. She kicked it down, made a domino effect, and well, boom. So that all makes sense. Oh, then the Monokuma panels must have been blocking the door. So the door opening set the panels falling like dominoes, and they, and they in turn knocked over the lighter. Hmm, so that is how they, that's how they set the fire to the warehouse. You look kind of worried. Do you remember what Owari said? That the door only opened a little bit? Was that because the panels were blocking it? The opening, it was too narrow for a person to pass through, wasn't it? Yeah, seems like it, unless they like super skinny. Or not even. Why is that a problem? It's a huge problem. That's the only exit out of the warehouse. If that was the only exit out of the warehouse, then the problem that Nanami's talking about is... Um... Hold on a minute. Oh, oh freaking A. How much time do I have left? I have a minute. Come on, go back video. Uh, no, I, st I still skipped it. Okay, no, I want to read the damn stuff. Okay, the culprit could not have left. The merchandise uh, could not have been removed. The inside could not, have, uh, could not have been seen. It was hidden. Obviously, the whole issue is if that was the only exit out there, then that means the culprit couldn't have left. So, well, there you go. The issue is, I don't know which ones are the, the one I need. I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. Okay. So that makes sense. I want such another exit, unless they like some type of weird trick. But you know, honestly, the house are gonna get out. And if the panels are close enough, close enough to, to the door that it couldn't be open only slightly, then the culprit wouldn't be able to move, leave. Well, I guess that's true. Then could they have been hiding inside? Who? We were all outside. If we use the pattern set by previous trials, then there must have been some device which. It's not as complicated as you might think. There's one person who could have set the fire. What? Do you mean... But... If that's true... This murder... Hinata? Who are you thinking of? The person who set the fire inside a closed off warehouse. The only person who could have done that... Was this person! And... I think we all know where it's going to, but it seems that, at least I think it's another case of a suicide. But that seems way too easy, though. But that, it only makes sense. It, it could be only him that set it up. So, okay, it could have only been you. Next video. Oh man, probably should stop. It was Komaida, wasn't it? Why are you t talking about Komaida? Wasn't he the victim? He may, he may not have been just the victim. What? If he wasn't just a victim, then what else? Komaida could have been the victim, but also the murderer. So are we so are saying it's a suicide? You're saying it was suicide! That's impossible! Yeah, after all that crap we saw. Don't you remember? The guy's body was covered with wounds! Are you saying he did all that to himself? Well, if it was Komaida, doesn't it seem possible? That's not the problem! He was all tied up! I don't care how big a pervert he was, why the hell would he tie up his hands and feel and feet like that? Hmm, you're right. Uh oh, alright then, I just wanted to let you know. We need to talk about how Komaida tied himself up. How would he, though? We need to talk about it. 
Why the hell does it need to be uh, need talking about? It's obvious that he couldn't have done it. There, there, that would seem to be the case, but I feel like I've forgotten something important. And actually, I mean, actually, we'll figure out what something important was in the next episode. Because, well, yeah, I like to keep these in increments of, like, around this time. So, yeah, obviously, who else could set the fire if there's no other exit but him? But saying that it was a suicide seems way too easy. But the only thing that comes to my mind is what I mentioned very early when we saw, or when Nami mentioned that red line up on the ceiling. And I'm like, that is directly where the spear is. So obviously I feel like in that weight must have do something with it where maybe he killed himself like that. And I hope that's not like a huge revelation because that's that seems very easy to figure out. But there must be a lot more mysteries I'm, I'm thinking about here. But in any case, guys, as usual, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.